Everybody, Heather here. So today we're going to be coloring this super cute Whiff of Joy image called Muffin Robbery. Isn't she so cute? Very adorable and I love this little dog right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I use. I would love for you to come shopping with me and there are tons of other stuff in the store besides card kits. So if you don't like card kits, there's paper and dyes and Copic markers and distress inks and all kinds of great stuff. And there's a bunch of stuff in the clearance section so make sure to check that out if you're over there at the store. I have um, already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Momento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so for today we are going to start off by um, doing the skin first. We're not going to outline her today because we're going to cut her out. So for our skin tones, we're going to use E11, E21, E00, E000, and then to add a little bit of shadows, I'm going to use BV Quadruple Zero today. Then for cheeks, I'm going to use R43, R20, and R30. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my E11 for my shadows. And I'm going to do that right up here underneath of her bangs. And then a little bit in there. Same for this side for her bangs. We're going to do a little dab of our color up here. And then I'm going to go down just a tad right here next to this little um, section of hair she's got falling down right there. Next, I'm going to grab E21. And I want to soften that a little bit, so I'm going to brush on top of my line, away from it, just so I can soften that edge a little bit. And I'm going to do that same thing up here and along this line. But I also want to use this color to bring around the edges of her face. So I'm just going to outline down here at the bottom. Okay. Next, I'm going to use E00. And we're going to add a little bit more on there. And I'm not worried about it being perfect because I want to go ahead and do her cheek color and then I'm going to go over it a second time. I'm just using this this time around to soften the edges just a little bit. Now, E quadruple zero. And then I'm going to leave that little bit white of white left, and I'm going to add some cheek color. So let's grab R43, and I'm going to do a dab right here and right here. And then I'm going to soften it with R20, so I'm going to do the outside edges. And then I'm going to soften it either f even further with my R30. So again, I want to go along the outside edge. And then I want to start with my colors for my skin again, so I'm going to grab E21. Work my way back around. And then E00. And I'm going to pull that to the edge of her mouth right down here. Same for this side over here. I went ahead and brought it up to her mouth. And then I'm going to fill in that white space with my E000. I got a little bit of a line on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and brush each side here just to soften that edge just a little bit more. Now I want to take my BV Quadruple Zero and add a little bit of shadow in. So I'm going to add some shadows up here underneath of her hairline. And I'm just using where I laid down my E11 the first time. And I'm going to go down the side of her face. And same for right here. Then I'm going to take my E Quadruple Zero and I'm just going to lightly feather the edges. And I think I'll pinken up her cheeks a little bit more. So I'm going to take my R20. And then 
R30 just for a little bit on the edges. And then my E quadruple zero just over the top just to soften those just a little bit and blend the colors together. And I also want to do, she's got a little bit of her neck showing right there, so let's take our E11. And E21 to fill it in. So there's not much showing right there, so we'll just quickly give her a quick neck. So next, let's go ahead and do her hair, and for that I'm going to use E34, E55, and E30. I'm going to start with my E34, and let's give these little pigtails a little bit of color. And then there's a little streak right here that's coming out. I'm going to do that. Oops, I'm going to fill in right here underneath this little bang she's got there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for this side. Let's add some streaks, and I'm keeping my streaks going in the direction the hair is pulling. And then up here, she's got this one. Let's bring these down like this. And up here, she's got this little hair that's kind of going every direction, so we're going to just add some streaks. Remember, I'm trying to keep it, my pin going in the direction that the hair is going. So we're just going to go like this. Now we're going to go with E55. Same thing, we just want to add some more colors in here. work my way around. And then I'm going to fill it in with my E30. And that will blend some of those colors together. And then I'm going to go back and add in some more shadows after I've colored it all. Okay, so I'm going to grab my E34 for my shadows again. And I'm going to try to use just the tip of my pen to make my streaks a little bit streakier here. Next, let's do her hat, and for that I'm going to use C0, C00, and BG70. I'm going to start with my C0. I'm going to turn my girl a little bit right here. I'm going to start over here on this edge, and she's got a little thing right here that looks like it's kind of bent, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to bring that shadow up a little bit more. Same for this side. She's got a little bit of a dent in here, so I'm going to use that dent to exaggerate it and bring my color out a little bit more. And for the top of the hat, let's do right next to this all these lines and along the top where it's folded over. And then up here, she's got this little indentation up here, so I'm going to make that a little bit more exaggerated with my pen. And I think I'll brush this one just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to grab my C00, and I want to soften the edge. I'm going over my previous color, and I'm going past just a little bit. And then I'm going to use my BG70 to give it just a little bit of color. Just a little bit of color to all those shadows and still leave part of my hat white. Now 
Next, let's hop down here and do her pants. And for that, we're going to use E44, E43, E42, and E41. I'm going to start with my E44. And let's give her some shadows. Go right along the edges of her pants. And same for the little cuffs. And for this cuff over here, turn my girl a little bit. I'm going to still outline the edge, but I'm going to give it a little bit of an indentation about halfway up and bring the color in just a little bit so it looks like it's got a little wrinkle. And then for this side, I want to do, again, I want to do the edges. I'm going to fill in that whole section in the back where the line was. And then let's do a little bit right here. Right here. And again, she's got a little bit of a dent right here, so I'm going to go ahead and make that a wrinkle by bringing my pin in a little bit further. And I'm going to give her cuff another wrinkle down here. And same for this side. Let's give this side a little bit of a wrinkle. Next, I'm going to go with my E43. And I want to soften those edges. So I'm just going back over the top of my last color and just pulling past a little bit. I've got E42. And again, I'm laying down on top of my last color and just working out into my white. And then I'm going to fill it in with my E41. I'm going to go back with my E44 and add my shadow back in so that I can see those wrinkles a little bit better. Next, let's do her boots. And for that, we're going to use E49, E47, E44, and E43. I'm going to start with my E49. And let's start on this boot over here. A little bit of dark right there. I'm going to bring my sole around just a little bit. And I want to add a little bit of dark on my sole. And same for this side. Let's go ahead and bring it up just a little bit and then pull over our color. And put this one over here. Since her shoe's up in the air over here, I'm not going to put my dark, dark color on that side. And I think I'll pull this dark color on her sole up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab E47. And I'm going to fill in my sole. Same for this side, I'm going to fill in that sole and pull some color up. And then E44. And then E43 to fill it in. Okay, so next let's do the patch on her pants and the center of her apron. For that, we're going to use BG 75, 72, and 70. I'm going to start with my BG 75. 
Let's do our patch here along the edges and the bottom. And then I'm going to grab BG72. And then I'm going to swirl over the whole thing with my BG70. And up here for our apron, I'm going to again start with my BG75. And let's go ahead and outline underneath here. And then she's got this little space right here that looks like it's folded down. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit of color like this. I'm going to grab BG72 and I want to soften those edges. I'm going to fill in above her pocket here. It's going to be pretty dark under there. I'm going to leave a little bit of white right here so that we can do a little bit of a shiny spot. Let's go ahead and go like that. And then I'm going to take my BG70 and again I'm just going to swirl it around blending those colors together. BG70 to 72 is a pretty big jump. And I'll scrub it a little bit more. Well, I think I'll put some 72 back on there. So I'm going to take my BG72. And then again go over it with my BG70. That's not quite so light. Next, let's do her mittens and the accents on her little apron. So for that, we're going to use wire 14, wire 12, and wire 20. I'm going to start with my wire 14. Let's start down here on the ruffle on her apron. And this little section is underneath, so I'm going to fill that in. And right here next to her boot, she's got a little section, or her pants leg that's underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill that right in. I'm going to give it a second coat so it's a little bit darker. And I want to add this color in the little sections that look like they're dropping down. So here's one that looks like it comes down into a pleat. And then over here where it's tucking down underneath of her leg, I'm going to give that a little bit. And right in here, this one looks like it's going downhill. Then I'm going to take wire 12 next. And I'll leave a little bit of white there. Let's bring this color up towards the top of this hump. And I'm going to take wire 20 to fill those white spaces in. Let's do the little pocket here. So again, I'm going to start with my wire 14. And I'm going to go right along this edge in the bottom. I'm going to give it a little wrinkle right here by that heart. And wire 12. And wire 20 to fill it in. And again, for our gloves, we're going to start with YR14. So for this side, I'm going to go really close to the muffins and underneath the pan. That. Let's go ahead and bring it down like this. And same for this side, we want to go underneath of this pan. And then I'm going to outline this wrinkle and bring this side over here. And then right here where her thumb is creasing it, I'm going to give it a little bit on the bottom of her thumb. And then wire 12 is next. So I just want to soften that edge. So I'm going to lay my pen down right on top of it. I'm going to fill this whole bottom section in. Leave a little bit of white over there. Same for this side. I'm going to go ahead and fill this section in. 
and leave white at the top right here. And then my YR20 to fill it in. Next, let's do the muffin tin, and for that we're going to use C5 and C2. So I'm going to start with my C5, and I'm going to dip up here in between my muffins, and I'm going to do it along the edges. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of white there on the edge of the muffin tin. But if I don't, that's okay too, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take C2 to fill that in. And I'm going to fill in this bottom section too. Like that. I think I'll take my C5 again and get right in between these muffins and darken it up just a tad bit more. For the muffins, let's use E37, E35, E34, and E33. I'm going to start with my E37 first, and I'm going to do the bottoms of each of these front muffins. I'm trying to, there's a little wrapper on there, so I'm going to go ahead and try not to color the wrapper. And then for these back ones, I'm going to try to do just a tiny line just along the edge. Next, I'm going to grab E35, and I want to just pull up a little bit more off of the last color. So I still want to put my other two colors on here. E34. And I pulled this one up a little bit more so I just have enough on the muffin top to make it light. And see if we can get a little bit more on these back ones. And then I'm going to fill it in with my E33. That leaves us with this cute dog here. So for spots, we're going to use E37, E35, and E34. I'm going to go ahead and start with my E37 first. Let's do just a little patch here on the outside of his eye. And then I want to do each of these dots down here. Then I'm going to go with E35. And then I'm going to fill it in with my E34. For the dog's body, we're going to use E33, E31, and E30. I'm going to start with my E33. Let's go start with his foot. Go right along the bottom of his foot and up the back and under his body. Now for this side, I'm going to do the bottom of his foot, and then I'm going to do a little dash there where his ankle is, like that. And let's see, for his body, let's do around like so. I'm going to make this line here a little bit bigger. And I'm going to get a little bit on his tail. I'm going to color in the tip of his tail with this color as long as I got it out. And then over here where his hand is touching his paws touching her body. And let's do a little bit here under his neck. Oh, and I better not forget his other arm. I'm going to go with E31 next. So I'm going to soften those edges. So I'm just going to touch down on top of the last color and just 
exaggerate those lines a little bit more. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of his body here with E30. I'm just going to brush along there and fill him the rest of the way in. I'm going to go back over it a second time to soften those lines a little bit more. That looks pretty good. For his face, we're going to start with E33. And let's do inside of his ear a little bit. And let's do the bottom of this ear and come up into this little crease right here. And then where it's folded over, I'm going to do a little bit. And his mouth's open, so let's go ahead and go right along that and up the back over here where his ear is. And then I'm going to leave that color and then I'm going to go with E31. to fill it the rest of the way in. For the inside of his mouth, I'm going to use R20 and R30. So I'm going to take my R20 first and I'm just going to color the whole thing in like that. And then I'm going to take R30 and I'm going to brush over the inside part just to make it a little bit tan or not quite so pink. So there is our muffin robbery all colored up. Doesn't she look cute? I went ahead and cut her out um, so that I could put her on her car on the card. So here again is the finished card. And this is a, the card base is five and a half inches by five and a half inches square so that you can fit it into your six um, inch envelope. So all this stuff can be um, poked off the sides. And this sentiment does not come with your kit. It is a separate stamp set. So I left it blank so you could put your own sentiment on there. You could put happy birthday or whatever you would like on there. But when I put the card together, I set the card base on the envelope. And then I put this other stuff that's hanging off the edge on so I would know that it would still fit in there. I made sure it was stuck on there. I also want to do on my card, I forgot that I was going to add some Sharpie white paint pen on here. Let's zoom back in. So I'm going to take my Sharpie white paint pen and I want to add a couple of dots to her cheek, her cheeks. And then I took my Spica glitter pen and I added some glitter to her hair. And I know you can't see it on camera, but it just adds a little bit of sparkle on there. So there she is with her little sparkles on there. And I don't think I added any any glitter or stardust stick or any um, stickles this time. So there she is all colored up. And again, here's the finished card. I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. If you have a question, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you on that. I'm happy to answer all your questions. 
and if you could hit the like button if you like the video that would be wonderful so I know to make more and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that so that you'll get a notice whenever I put out a new video for you to watch so I hope you had fun coloring with me today and we'll see you next time have a great day bye Thank you.